With the election on Tuesday, campaign signs seem to be everywhere. Driving in Crowan County, there's one race where signs seem to be particularly prevalent, and that is the race for Crowan County Sheriff. Our reporter Rachel Johnson met with the two candidates and has more on the race. On Tuesday, voters in Crowan County will head to the polls and vote for who they would like to be their next sheriff, Scott Goddard or Pat Pickar. I started out in law enforcement about 24 years ago, and uh, you know, you always aspire to do better. And I'm very proud of I've been able to work up, you know, from patrol deputy to sergeant, lieutenant, and the current captain. I believe the job of sheriff is just more enforcing laws. It's really about being part of the community. I think with what I've done in the community, volunteering, being active and engaged in our community, I have a pulse on what's going on. Both candidates are lifelong residents of Crowan County and have a wide variety of experience. I started Breezy Point Police Department, came down to the Sheriff's Office, uh, for a very short time went back to Breezy and then back to Crow Wing, and uh, you know, worked patrol division for a number of years, moved up to Sergeant where I took care of the Boat and Water Division, and then Lieutenant where I took care of our patrol and our communications, and then Captain. I've been at the Sheriff's Office for over 20 years, serving in every division and capacity there is in the Sheriff's Office. I also have the training experience in police management and leadership, leadership academy, and officer leadership development, which has given me the opportunity to be the deputy chief for the city of Cuyuna and serve our citizens on the east side of Crow Wing County. They both have unique values that they want to bring to the sheriff's office. The unique perspective that I'm going to bring to the sheriff's office is what I've done in the community being active and engaged. You know, it, it's important for our sheriff to be engaged in our community, but it's more important that we're going to try to get our whole sheriff's office engaged and inspired to serve. Really, I'm running on my experience. Uh, you know, I'm very proud of my track record, uh, my, my uh, involvement with the community, our partnership and our collaboration. And that's really what we need for law enforcement is a strong leader moving us forward. Though they might have different ideas for the office, they have one thing in common. That is their love for the area and Crow Wing County. We have so much to offer here. You know, we get to live in an area where people come to vacation. You know, we have everything. Uh, we have the businesses, um, we have the homes, we have the lakes, we have the farm fields for hunting. At Crow Wing County, not just the Sheriff's Office, but at Crow Wing County, all of our personnel, uh, we're very proud of what we provide, the services that we uh, uh, we provide to our, to our serving public, if you will, whether you be a resident or a visitor, and uh, we want to keep our community safe, and we're very proud of we we're able to do that. With the general election fast approaching, it won't be long until residents of Crow Wing County will have a new sheriff. Reporting from Brainerd, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. The candidate who wins the general election will take office on January 1st, replacing current Sheriff Todd Dahl, who is retiring. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.